Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show. Folks, saying it's selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Dude, this is, in my opinion, like the best bet you can make if you're trying to get cash flow uh, in an up-and-coming neighborhood to hopefully also have your cake and eat it too and cash in on appreciation, right? If you're in the Cleveland market and you're trying uh, to invest in the up-and-coming areas, areas where the price is supposed to go like that, this neighborhood, folks, is going to be the best possible bet, in my humble opinion, right? 3601 Sackett, Cleveland, 44109, right? And the reason, the reason that I think this neighborhood uh, is such a good bet is because, you know, well, first let me say this, right? I'm, I'm basing that on some, you know, external factors in actual real-life uh, institutional investing, right? I feel like it's important to say that, like, there's some real estate salespeople out there that are, like, freaking used car salesmen or, or just fluff kings and queens, dude. And I don't do that. I pride myself on cutting it to you guys straight. I think we could all say, if you watch enough Holton Wise TV, <laughs> ain't nobody going to show you the rough stuff like we do, right? I call it like I see it, right? I feel like I call things down the middle. And that's why uh, when I'm making a particular bet or prediction on a neighborhood, I feel like you could put some weight into that, right? Some people are like, oh, this is great. This is so great. This is such a, this house has such charm. And I'd be like, bro. It's a shit shack in the middle of the fucking ghetto, dude. You got some fucking savage people living up in there, and Section 8's going to pay their rent, but they're total fuckheads. Do you want to buy it or not, right? I feel like I would describe something like that that somebody else would be like, oh, look at this charming woodwork, you know? So you could be like, oh, this guy's giving it to me real, right? So with all that said, I think this particular neighborhood, folks, the Clark Fulton neighborhood, I think it is the best possible bet you could make in Cleveland if you're trying to get cash flow and appreciation. Why am I just freaking jerking off on camera here? No, because there's actual evidence that points me to believe that that's going to happen, right? Location. Number one, it's right next to Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square, right? Those areas have already gentrified. Those are areas that used to be pretty sketchy, but now the hipsters are moving in in droves. They're building new houses. Cleveland does the 15-year tax abatement for new construction, right? If you build a home in Cleveland uh, under green building standards, you don't got to pay property taxes for 15 years, right? So the government is behind seeing gentrification in these types of neighborhoods, okay? And we've already seen it in those. The Clark Fulton area just south of that, right? That's one reason I believe we're going to see some gentrification. The second reason we're going to see some gentrification is the freaking Billions of dollars going into this neighborhood, dude. Institutional investing, right? Regional Transit Authority. They're kicking in $60 million in this particular area. Metro Health, which I talk about a lot on this show, all over Holton Wise TV. They're putting a billion dollars, and it's not just into their campus. It's into the surrounding areas, right? So we got a location next to areas that have already gentrified. Number one. Number two, we have city tax abatements. Number three, we got over a bill going into the area, right? So I believe uh, that if there is a particular neighborhood in Cleveland, that is going to turn into the next hotspot, turn into the next Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square. I personally think it's going to be this neighborhood because of those factors. It's also pretty darn close to downtown and the lake. That's my thought. With that said, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows, man. I ain't farting freaking unicorn dust out here, okay? I cut it to you straight. Right now, it's a Section 8-type neighborhood, right? It's like a DC-grade neighborhood, right? What that means is you're going to be dealing with lower-income tenants today, right now. As a matter of fact, like if you cruise through this particular unit, right, you're going to see some things in this particular rental property that may uh, be a little weird to you, right? They may be things that you're not used to. For instance, this coffee table built out of cigarette packets, right? Uh, Maverick, I'm talking to you guys. Uh, what's up? Can you hook your boys here at Holton Weiss TV up with a little sponsorship money, right? Can we get 
This show sponsored by Maverick. Like, come on, guys. Lung cancer. It's the new thing. The kids are doing it, right? Things like that you're going to see, right? You're going to see stuff like that. Every once in a while when you're buying a bunch of low-income properties, you're going to walk into a bathroom, and you're going to look in the bathtub, and you think you're going to see an empty bathtub, but you'd be wrong. In fact, you're going to see some turtles just chilling because that's where they live, in this fucking bathtub. That's just how things go, man. That's how the cookie crumbles, all right? When you're working uh, with low-income housing, it can be a wild ride sometimes, folks, but you do find some good finds, right? For instance, this John Wayne poster, hopefully when the tenants move out, that stays. Your boy Jay Wise wants that. Uh, I will also fight you for the Maverick coffee table, of course, but you know what? You could have the fucking turtle. I don't want the turtle. Uh, but anyway, these are the kind of things you're going to see. This... This is what it really looks like in the real world, right? So, yeah, I could talk about the good stuff, the fluff, right? Like, oh, my God, gentrification, the properties are probably going to go up. Hipsters are probably coming in. They're going to raise all the 100-year-old homes, and they're going to build new stuff. Everybody's property value is going to go up. That is one possible scenario. Uh, but real estate investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme, and it is not like everything is awesome all the time, right? In reality... These properties can be a little difficult to manage, and you're dealing with uh, quirky-type tenants, right? You don't believe me? Check out the Tenants from Hell show uh, or just, like, the fact that we, we got a fucking coffee table built out of cigarettes and, and the goddamn turtles live in the, in, the, in the bathtub, right? We got shit like that going on. That's the kind of shit that we deal with every single day as Section 8 landlords, Section 8 investors. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that we will handle for you, right? So you can get in. Make your investment passive, make it a very easy ownership experience, and we deal with the nitty-gritty, the tough stuff, right? These two particular tenants, they're paying five fifty and five hundo. That's actually below market rent. They've been in there for quite some time. And the particular owner of this property is just a little mom and pop seller. They're not a pro. Okay? Uh, they're managing on their own. This is the only rental property they have. They haven't kept up with the times. They haven't uh, increased the rent, but that's okay. Once we sell the property to you, Holton Wise is going to come in. We're going to take things over, and we're going to get them rents up to seven fifty and eight fifty. dollars okay? Because those are what market rents are in 2022. When you have a company like Holton Wise, somebody who sold $200 million worth of real estate exactly like this, turtles in the bathtub and all, that's the kind of value and experience we provide to you guys, right? So $1,600 uh, a month coming in for a purchase price of $84,900. That's freaking bagging. But uh, you got to understand a couple other things too, right? Uh, <clears throat> We have to get this property lead certified. This particular property has not yet been lead certified, right? So what that's going to mean, uh, what what's, what that is going to mean for you is uh, there's going to be some reno that has to happen, right? Uh, we have aluminum siding out there, so that's good. You're not going to have to revinyl side it, right? Uh, but any... Uh, windows uh, that are still wooden, and this property's got a few, are going to need to be replaced uh, with vinyl windows, right? Because when you're doing your uh, lead paint certifications, probably like 90 plus percent of your cost is going to come from uh, your windows and your vinyl replacements, right? You got to do these certifications every two years, okay? Uh, and don't worry, if this is new to you, that's okay. That's totally cool. It's actually a brand new law. Uh, if that is something you've never seen before, never experienced before, you ain't alone. In the notes below after this video, I have a video on the lead certification process. It's actually a half hour long because uh, it's it's complicated. It, it's the government, right? Like, uh, you know, they don't necessarily make things easy, right? A lot of red tape when you're dealing with them. But don't worry, I broke it down in a step-by-step -step fashion. Holton Wise is here to handle all of that for you. Uh, so... With that being said, uh, I can't give you like a dollar to the dollar bid right now here in this video because as you'll see from that video, the process involves many inspections and it's quite a lengthy process. But what I could say is 90% of your costs are going to come from replacing your windows and doing vinyl siding. Those are the two biggest things, right? Uh, so it's going to be like a pull the bandaid off one time kind of thing on replacing some of the wood windows here in this particular property. Uh, so I would say, though, uh, it, it's pretty reasonable 
uh, that you'll probably be all into that for like 20k or less. But that could, in fact, uh, change and or go up uh, when we actually start going through the process, start identifying uh, the lead hazards. But I'm looking at probably at least, uh, at least probably 20k on this. One other thing you need to know about this particular property uh, that may actually look freaky to some of you, but it's really not a big deal. You take a look at this pillar down here in the basement. You see that little wonky motherfucker? Uh, some people might be like, oh my god, this is structural. I was gonna fall apart. Not the case, folks. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy fix. That looks bad, but that's actually pretty darn easy. You, uh, just put a jump temporary jack right next to it, right? Jack it up a little bit, and then knock that bad boy down, and then install one of those new uh, metal pillars. Like a job like that's like literally under two grand. I know those freak people out when they see like the main header, uh, the supports under the main header starting to erode or break down. But dude, it's like a hundred plus year old house. Uh, that's gonna happen. But yeah, to fix that's really easy. What's actually more important is getting the house lead certified, uh, doing the windows, things of that nature, right? And uh, yeah, so that's where we're at, folks. 1050 currently comes in today, but that is way below market, right? We'll be able to get that up to 1600. That's market rents. If the tenants uh, do not want to sign on the dotted line, so to speak, we'll have to move them out, refresh their units. So you're going to be looking at a few grand for those turnovers, obviously. But other than that, man, this thing is eventually going to become a cash cow for you. Uh, but we got to do a little bit of work to get there. And then the hope is... Uh, we get you in there at such a low price, get it lead certified, continue making that Section 8 cheddar, and then maybe 10, 15 years down the road, you get to cash in on that appreciation gravy train. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.